Hello. Uh, I just wanted to share something that, uh, I don't know, I feel like it could be linked to not just me waffling about something that happened to me, like some sort of proud success story or something, but just, I think, link it's linked to a sense of um, why it's worth doing things, why it's, why it's not about comparing you to somebody massively successful, why the smallest amounts of success can sometimes be really powerful and really important and actually make a difference to someone else. So that's kind of what is underneath this, but it's kind of anecdotal and it's something I wanted to share because I think it's, you know, like I said, I think you can get like a lovely lesson from it as well as just, it's just a, a lovely thing. And because obviously some of the people that I've spoken to on the channel and some of the, the comment, people who comment on the channel are getting to know me through these videos. And this is an anecdotal thing about music. So my channel's books, songs and other magic and songs is a big part of my life because I'm a songwriter, have been a songwriter for a long time. And some of my songs have meant a lot to people, which is really, really amazing. It's a really beautiful thing. And I'm very honored that some of these songs mean a lot to people. And I got a big reminder of that yesterday. So uh, I'm, I can only put this video up after the weekend because um, what is going to be this Saturday, but we're now in the future because I'm putting this up afterwards as it's a surprise. I'm going to make a surprise appearance with Richie, who I started Bemis with, at a big theatre event because there's a guy playing there who's got his own set and he's, he wants to um, do a, a performance of the Jigsaw song, which is one of my most popular songs. It's also probably certainly the most personal song that I play. So there is a, a quite a... There's an emotional song that I, that I ended the World of Difference album with, which is really hard to... It was hard to record, and I can never perform that. But the Jigsaw song, I perform it a lot, and it is very personal, and it means a lot to me, that song. And it means a lot to Adam, the guy that's playing this Saturday. He's a friend of mine, but um, we've, we've become friends through the music scene, and uh, it, he, he really loves the song. He loves what we do. Um, when we met up last night to rehearse for this surprise appearance, he was saying all sorts of things that I didn't realise about my voice, about certain things I do in my voice, that I do it naturally, he didn't realise I did it. And he was talking about the technical side of what I was doing, which was quite nice to hear. Um, he was talking about the, the words and why the words of the Jigsaw song meant so much to him. They are obviously why, they, why the song means a lot to me but I know that it resonates with people, which obviously gives it an extra bit of value and all that sort of stuff um, for me as a songwriter. But the Jigsaw song is, is like the third verse especially. I'll link um, a few versions of it on YouTube if you are interested in hearing the song. But the third verse in particular is the one that, if I'm feeling low, it's tough to sing that verse because it's a, a verse about uh, my strange personality and how I used to feel that like I'd never succeed in anything because of the way my mind works. It's funny because it's, it's, a, it's a verse that, and, and a lot of the song refers to a real lack of achievement. And I do feel like I have achieved lots of things since I wrote the song. And it's almost by default in some ways because I am, like the song sometimes says in different ways, I am my own worst enemy. And I think that's true for a lot of people. I think a lot of people relate to the idea that they are their own worst enemy. So, um, so anyway, um, I am not on TV. I'm not in a band that's particularly mega famous. I'm not, uh, you know, the band's YouTube page got hardly any followers. Uh, we don't play, um, you know, tons of venue. We do play some venue gigs. We don't play tons. We don't tour the world or whatever. But I have written songs that meant a lot to people. I've got a guy playing on Saturday, asking us to perform it with him as a special treat, who is really, uh, he, he's, he's really chuffed that we're doing it with him and it means a lot to him. And you know, the Jigsaw song is one of those songs, like People Live On and um, 
and a few others, but people live on and Duke Song are two really big ones where it really resonates with people. And I just think it's worth saying that, uh, you know, even, a, even a, a small amount of success can put a lot of meaning and value into your life and your own sense of worth, if you like. Um, and I think that it's not about being the best or being the most famous or being the most visible or being applauded constantly, being harassed by paparazzi. You know, it's not about that. It's about how you affect people uh, in your day-to-day -day life and, you know, sometimes complete strangers. Uh, and, you know, as an artist, this is. I mean, obviously, you, you, this is also true for people who aren't artists who do other things that affect people. Um, because there are lots of people I know that have affected people through th ways. That, for example, I have a friend who's been uh, a very important, active and uh, sensitive and um, uh, uh, proactive politician who's made all sorts of changes for, that have really affected people's lives. And, and he did something for us recently that made a big difference to our lives. So, you know... Politicians, believe it or not, can do really lovely things to change people's lives. Um, so, you know, it's not just about the creative side of it, but just from my point of view, from this anecdote, it's a creative thing I'm talking about. And I just wanted to kind of just put that kind of message across, I suppose, that don't ever think that it's not worth doing something because you're never going to be famous or you're never going to be that successful, whatever. These are, um, it's a scale. This is a whole spectrum. And, and if you've touched one person or you've affected one person or you've made a change in someone's life in some way then that made that thing worthwhile you know that's how, that's what i think i think it's a really important thing to think about and that could motivate you that thought could motivate you to do something that actually affects 10 people's lives it could affect 50 people's lives hundreds of people's lives thousands of people's lives you never know so think think um think about the smallest success, and who knows? You could be affecting a large number of people's lives in a really positive and lovely way. That's it, that's my message. Um, have a listen to Jigsaw's song if you want. Thanks a lot, bye.